Welcome to C -c 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 Cartoon Fight Club. Cartoon Fight Club is a show where characters from video games, movies, and cartoons come to fight to the finish. Here on Cartoon Fight Club, we like to analyze each character's strengths and abilities and how they use them in battle. We also like to factor in where the fight is located and if there's any prep time, because that could define the battle in many different ways. And now for Cartoon Fight Club's first competitors! Our first fighter is Wario. Wario, known for his rivalry to Mario, is the CEO tycoon of his gaming company WarioWare Games Incorporated. He's a great explorer who loves to go treasure hunting in new mysterious worlds, and he's not afraid of risking his own life to gain some valuable treasures. Wario's signature move is the dash attack, which is an elbow thrusting attack allowing him to lunge enemies and break things as strong as stone. Another famous move of Wario's is the ground pound, that's where he destroys his enemies with his anus. His anus is so strong, it is able to break things such as metals and stones. One of Wario's most infamous moves is the Wario Waft. These are Wario's deadly farts. Well, they're not always deadly. When his farts haven't been held for a while, Wario does a small fart capable of knocking out his enemies for a few seconds. But if the fart is held for a lengthy time, Wario unleashes a huge explosion capable of launching him 27 feet into the air and devastating his enemies. The final fart has a blast radius of over 10 feet, which is like getting struck by an RPG missile. Going back to Wario's anus, as disgusting as it sounds, we bring you the Wario bike. Wario pulls these bikes right out of his ass and uses them to run over his foes. The bike weighs over 550 pounds and can reach a top speed of 114 miles per hour. Because the bikes break pretty easily, he carries a lot with him. Surprisingly, even though of his fat stature, Wario is shown to jump incredible heights just like his presumed rival Mario. Wario can double jump to a height of 22 feet, and with the total of his final Wario waft, he can reach heights of over 50 feet. Along with his great jumping ability, Wario has super strength. Wario is strong enough to lift many bosses such as Dynamite, who is said to his weigh as much as a Titanosaur, which weighs 139 tons or 278,000 pounds, and Wario can whip around this boss with ease, making him one of the most strongest characters in the Mario series. Wario is also a great survivor, as he's walked away from many beatings. He's also swallowed many explosives like it was nothing, and has practically become immune to his deadly stenches. I guess you could say Wario is a true warrior. And now for our second competitor. We bring you Knuckles. Knuckles is a 16-year-old red echidna, the only living descendant of a well-established clan of echidnas. For many years, his clan guarded a giant gemstone called the Master Emerald. As such, Knuckles has spent most of his life atop the floating Angel Island guarding this emerald from harm. He has grown up fairly introverted as a result of this. Knuckles' signature move is his rock-hard physical strength and punching ability through his knuckles. Knuckles 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 is so strong that they can punch holes through thick steel, shatter boulders, and lift objects several times his own size and weight. Knuckles' strength is said to equal Sonic's mundane speed of Mach 1, which would make him able to lift and press 100 tons. Like Sonic, Knuckles can also perform the Spin Dash, a powerful ball thrusting attack allowing him to plunge his enemies. Although he is not as fast as Sonic, he can still reach top speeds of over 530 miles per hour. The only downfall to this is if Knuckles wants to use his high speeds, he would have to sacrifice his powerful strength, and if he would want to use his strength, he would have to sacrifice his high speeds. It is very hard for him to use both at the same time. He is noted and known for having slow movements in combat. Knuckles is known for his jumping, climbing, and gliding abilities. Knuckles has the jumping ability to reach over 30 feet and then glide quickly to his next position. He also has great climbing ability allowing him to cling onto all types of terrains. And now for Cartoon Fight Club's first fight. The battle will take place on Angel Island and neither of the fighters would have any prep time. Go! Wah, 
Oh, look at that. That thing must be worth a fortune. <laughs> I must get my hands on it. Ooh, this looks great. Get your filthy hands off my emerald. Your emerald? This thing is mine. If you want that, you have to go through me. <laughs> well, who are you? I will destroy you. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Death by anus, you've seen it here, Wario finished Knuckles with a ground pounding blow. Because Knuckles was caught off guard for this fight, he only stuck to his strength tactics and not any of his speed. And when it came to strength, Wario had most of the advantages. But don't think this fight is over. If you want to see a rematch, comment down below the word rematch. And if this video reaches 250 rematch comments, we will make a rematch with different circumstances. Keep in mind that won't guarantee a win for anyone, but it will change up the outcome a lot. Also, we would love to take suggestions from you guys, so comment below who do you want to see fight next in Cartoon Fight Club. On the next episode of Cartoon Fight Club, a duel battle between best friends, Mordecai and Rigby versus Finn and Jake. Coming soon to an Animation Rewind YouTube channel near you.